Transfer foil is one of the most easy yet beautiful nail art techniques to create quick fun nail art But chances are if you're watching this video, you may be really struggling with it. Hey there Welcome back. If you are new here, welcome My name is Paola and I am happy to be hosting for Cocos USA again And if you're new to Cocos products and wondering how they classify Cocos gel is soak off gel made in Japan first. What is a transfer foil? A transfer foil is a thin sheet of plastic medium used for nail art with typically a reflective backing that when pressed to a surface with adhesive transfers onto it. Now, when transfer foil first debuted, it was applied with glue and frankly, me and glue have never ever meshed, so I didn't even bother learning this application method. But when gel became the way for application, I was game. First things first, when doing transfer foil art, you must have the right products. And those are a good transfer foil and a good foil. And well, thankfully, Cocois offers both, although just a couple foil options, but is the foil transfer gel that steals the attention here. Cocois foil transfer gel is called foil tech and it comes in a pot. Yay, where are my potted gel lovers? Cure it for 30 to 60 seconds before applying your foil. So if you're not using a Cocos curing unit, go for that 60 second cure. All right, so the cat is out of the bag. The new way to achieve a successful foil transfer is by using foil gel, but that is only partially the secret. Secret number one, for a good transfer every time. Do not attempt to apply your foil on the entire nail, but rather create designs or even blocking patterns on the nail plate to transfer foil only in certain areas. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. If you select pieces of the nail, by the way, where you would want the foil to be on versus choosing to do it on the entire nail, you will hardly struggle with a good transfer. And here's the thing, there are beautiful transfer foils out there with gorgeous patterns and I've been so suckered into buying the cutest ones possible. But you run into a couple of problems when trying to get a full transfer with a full pattern foil. First, can you even get a full transfer? Mm, I would say yes, the product is not the issue, okay? We have amazing foil gels nowadays. But if the surface you are applying on is completely flat, yes. And as we know, nails are hardly ever straight flat. And so in the struggle of trying to curve the foil onto the curvature of the nail, inevitably we break the transfer. So it's not so much the product, again, most transfer gels are great. It's just the natural nails curvature that is the problem. But if you are patient, you can get it very close to 100%. And what I've done and I've seen others do is grab a few towelettes or cotton balls and rub the foil on top as you're transferring it and you increase the amount of transfer that way, getting close to very close to actually a 100% transfer. Okay, and the second problem you'll run into is the conflict that gel has with a glossy surface. Gel does not adhere to a shiny surface for too long and so you will deal with the problem of lifting a few days later but listen i'm for you and let's just say you absolutely want a full transfer over the entire nail okay fine i have two game changing tips for you number one use a color underneath before applying your foil gel that matches the foil you will be using in case you do end up with some patches they will not be super visible number two do not cap the edge of the nail with foil gel. This will cause chipping and lifting. So again, the first secret to a good solid transfer each time is to create a pattern on the nail or block out an area you will want your foil to go on. Secret number two for a good transfer every time. Do not continuously tap over the foil gel with your foil. If you don't hardly get any foil to transfer on the nail from the first press, something is wrong. The foil gel is not cured properly or you have contaminated by touching the surface of it or you've handled the backing of the foil paper too much. Don't forget that our fingers naturally have oils and moisture on them. So if you continue to just tap and press the foil onto the foil gel, you'll end up with a crackled foil look. And well, just like crackle polish wasn't a hit, remember that, neither is crackle foil. 
So let's avoid the look by not breaking our foil by over tapping it onto the surface of the foil tag. So press once with firm solid pressure and gently peel back the paper. If stuff ain't happening, grab your alcohol or acetone solution and a lint-free towelette and scrub the foil off. Then let the alcohol or acetone solution evaporate from off of that nail and give it a few seconds and apply a thin layer of foil gel again and play again, start over. All right, well, I hope these two secrets for foil transfer were game changing for you. Remember, secret number one is to apply it selectively and secret number two is to not overwork the surface. And just in case you do, wipe the surface, start over, reapply the foil tag gel. It goes on rather thin, so you should be okay as far as thickness goes. All right, so now I wanna know, were transfer foils also something that you struggled with yourself? Let us know down in the comment section. We'd love to chat it up with you. Thanks for joining us this week again and we'll see you in the next. Bye for now.